Waging war on corruption. Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. Big Brother. Mainstream media. Government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. Welcome back to the Alex Jones Show on this Monday, June 30th, 2014. I am David Knight, your host for today, and we're going to be joined at the bottom of the hour with Alex Jones. He has another new special report that's not previously been aired. We also are going to be joined in the third hour by Dr. Stan Monteith, and that's going to be a very interesting discussion. We're going to talk about things like medical, uh, medical access to uh, good, clean food and drugs, what the basis of that is, as well as ethical issues. So we're going to talk about that. We might even get his uh, take on what's going on at the border. But right now, I want to go back to what happened this last uh, week. We had an interesting protest at the NSA data center in Utah. And of course, this is a data center that uses enough water and electricity to power a reasonably sized city. So there's environmentals, environmentalists who are pushing against that. We also have people from the Electronic Foundation uh, Freedom Future, let's see, what is that? The EFF, that is the Electronic Frontier Foundation. And of course, they advocate uh, freedom in the uh, internet and other places. We shouldn't lose our basic rights. And there you can see that blimp if you're watching this. Uh, that was a Greenpeace blimp. They did this in conjunction with the EFF and also in conjunction with the Tenth Amendment Center, which is a libertarian think tank. This is what I think is very encouraging when we see groups from very different perspectives and who would probably disagree with each other on a lot of different issues coming together on this fundamental issue. As we just heard in that special report that Alex put together with Charlie Sheen talking to President Obama at the beginning of the Obama administration saying, we want our country back. We have to come together on these fundamental issues, things that fundamentally affect our freedom. If we lose everything into an East Germany type of police state, as NSA whistleblowers have warned, we're going to lose it for everyone. We're not going to have any discussion about some of these other policies. We fundamentally have to have a country that is based on the rule of law, on a respect for individual liberties. And if we don't have that common foundation, we have lost everything. And that's what we were talking about just before the break, a story that's up on Infowars.com, where uh, NSA officials, whistleblowers say that the U.S. has turned into Stasi Germany or the Soviet Union. That's what William Binney, who spent decades watching these countries for the United States government, that's what he said when he saw everything turn internally, the security state, the police state turning internally, the surveillance turning internally after 9-11. He said, I've watched for decades the Soviet Union. I've watched East Germany. I know how they operate. We are doing the same things. And now Thomas Drake, one of the other whistleblowers at the NSA, has said the same thing. Now, even some of the corporations who have been cooperating with the government are now taking note of this. First, we see that Germany is giving Verizon the boot over the NSA spying scandal. They're kicking out uh, Verizon because of the NSA wiretapping of Chancellor Angela Merkel. And of course, she grew up in East Germany. She knows where this all leads. And they're coming down very hard on American corporations because they see them allied with the NSA, with the national security state that's developed here in America. And of course, Microsoft also came out last week and said, the future is bleak if the government continues its unlawful data collection. Well, it's not just Microsoft's future that's going to be bleak because they're going to lose business and are losing business just like Verizon. Microsoft was one of the very first companies that participated in the PRISM program as we learned from the leaked documents that Ed Snowden put out. They were in there in 2007. They were a founding member of this kind of crony espionage that's going on. And they're going to lose their business as well. People are turning elsewhere to get their computers. But it's a bleak future for us if we don't pull this down. That's what we're concerned about. We'll be right back with some whistleblowers from the VA and what happened to them. Stay with us.
began to get into iodine a few years ago because it was helping me and my family so much get healthy and detoxify. Most people know that iodine deficiency has been a crisis around the world. Iodine is key to so many of the body's functions, especially the thyroid. I discovered a product being developed by Dr. Group. You now know it as Survival Shield True Nascent Iodine that your body can really absorb. Then, about a year ago, he said, listen, if you think this is powerful, I'm going to come out with rare earth, deep earth crystals. And the results that I personally have had have been life-changing. Nobody else has got iodine based on these pure crystals, ladies and gentlemen. This is innovating, and the best part is it helps fund InfoWars.com, the radio show, the TV show, the whole media operation promoting true libertarian ideas. For a limited time, experience the ancient power of Survival Shield X2. Take advantage of this unprecedented 30% off Super Detox Special at InfoWarsLife.com. From the water table, to our soils, to the atmosphere itself, our world is becoming more and more toxic each and every day. But it's not just the air outside that's toxic. Indoor air has been shown to have two to five times higher concentrations of pollutants than even outdoor air. And most Americans spend 90% of their time inside using toxic chemicals within their homes. There are more than 42 million smokers in the United States. Well over a thousand types of mold and mildew linked to numerous conditions. And don't forget the fact that six million Americans live with pets they're allergic to as well. When I began to research these statistics, it was clear to me it was time to start cleansing my lungs in order to combat the toxic environment that we cannot escape, but that we can fight back against. Made with organic and wild cultivated herbs and manufactured in the USA, the new InfoWars Life Lung Cleanse is here in a convenient spray bottle that can be brought with you throughout any toxic environment. Now available exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com or by calling toll-free 888-253-3139. Hi, I'm Dr. Edward Group. It took me 20 years of searching the globe to find the deposit of the highest purity iodine available. The new Survival Shield X2 is mined from 7 to 10,000 feet below the earth in pristine, environmentally clean conditions. The iodine crystals we use are extracted from an ancient 300 million plus year old deposit deep in the earth. It's the strongest nascent iodine on the market today. It delivers 650 micrograms per drop. Experience the new formula. Experience the ancient purity. Shield your family. Survival Shield X2, available now at InfoWarsLife.com. X2 from InfoWarsLife.com or call toll free 888-253-3139. From his Central Texas Command Center, deep behind enemy lines, the information war continues. It's Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. Welcome back to the Alex Jones Show. I'm David Knight, your host. We're going to be joined at the bottom of the hour with Alex Jones. He has a special report on food. And this is one you're not going to want to miss, Food, the Ultimate Secret. We're also going to be joined in the third hour by Dr. Stanley Monteith, and he's going to be talking to us about medical issues, about ethics, about a variety of topics. He's going to be with us in the third hour. But I want to let you know that this hour is brought to you by the products that we offer at InfoWarsLife.com. And right now we have a special on Fluoride Shield. It's 25% off. Fluoride Shield is an exclusive blend of key herbs and ingredients specifically infused within the formula to help support the elimination of toxic forms of fluoride and other dangerous compounds like mercury, chlorine, and bromine from within the body. Right now, you can get that at InfoWarsLife.com for 25% off. That's a limited time special, so go there right now. That's InfoWarsLife.com. Now, just before the break, we were talking about uh, an article up on InfoWars. Top NSA officials say the U.S. has turned into Stasi Germany or the Soviet Union. We need to understand that it's not always hyperbole when you say somebody is becoming a Nazi. It was not hyperbole for William Binney, who spent decades watching East Germany, watching the Soviet Union, seeing how those police states, those surveillance states treated their own citizens. And when he saw the NSA turning inward in the wake of 9-11. When Thomas Drake saw them turning inward, they spoke out about it. They became whistleblowers. 
very important what they have to say to us. They're telling us that we now have a police state, that we are doing the same things that Stasi East Germany did, that the Soviet Union did. This is something we need to pay attention to. Other people are paying attention to it. In Germany, where they know what that looks like very well, they are pushing back. They're eliminating American corporations who are in bed with the American surveillance state. They don't want to be spied on, but Americans don't think it can happen to us. So we reported that uh, Germany is giving Verizon the boot because of the NSA spying scandal. Microsoft is worried about this affecting their future because they've been seen as someone who has been cooperating with the government for a very long time. We see that there was a uh, pushback, a very, a very interesting coalition of Greenpeace, of the EFF, a privacy organization, as well as Libertarian Think Tank, the 10th Amendment Center, they all flew a blimp over the NSA Data Collection Center, which is there to collect and store everybody's conversations worldwide. Uses a tremendous amount of energy, but it also is burning our rights right in front of our face. So that was a protest that happened last week. And of course, last week, it also came out that uh, Keith Alexander, who's the former head of the NSA, and he was the guy that was there while Snowden uh, got the documents and released that. Uh, now he's taking that resume, and I don't know how that really enhances his resume. He's putting himself out there as a consultant, offering uh, to consult to the banking industry and others for a million dollars a month. Well, he didn't have any takers, so he dropped it to 600000 which I think is still pretty high. But this is the interesting thing. A congressman, Representative Alan Grayson from Florida, was suspicious that Alexander has anything useful to offer at that price. And so he said that is unless he's peddling national security secrets. This is a guy, Keith Alexander, who went to Bilderberg while he was still head of the NSA, meeting with them in secret. Was he peddling secrets there? Perhaps. Now, of course, he was also there uh, this last year uh, in Copenhagen. Uh, this is something we see frequently, a revolving door. The way to push back, we need to listen to these people who are warning us as to where we're going, these whistleblowers from the NSA. And now we have whistleblowers coming out as well about the VA scandal. In an article on Infowars.com, 50 VA hospital workers claim retaliation because they blew the whistle on horrors that they saw. Now, this is an article that's uh, essentially from uh, Washington Times. It says, when Valerie Riviello, a nurse at the VA in New York, saw the clinic restrain a sexual assault survivor to a bed for seven consecutive hours, she went over and released the woman. The next day, she was removed from her post as a senior nurse manager and given a full-time desk job that kept her from having any contact with patients. She was eventually reprimanded as facing a 30-day unpaid suspension for releasing the woman. Now she is one of more than 50 whistleblowers who say that the VA retaliated against them for trying to do their jobs. Uh, she said, the nurses are afraid to complain or report anything. They have a hundred things that they've noticed, but they've seen what is happening to me, so they're afraid to report anything. See, that's the concern. Always when people report wrongdoing, the whistleblowers themselves are attacked. That's why we have whistleblower laws. And yet we have Obama who has essentially come against people who are blowing the whistle, who are exposing criminal actions. Look at the reaction, for example, to the Edward Snowden leaks. Look at the calls for his imprisonment, for his execution. What did he do? He exposed that our government is violating the law. The FISA Act was created in the wake of the House Church Committee hearings. Those were brought by Frank Church. He was concerned that at that time, in the 70s, that the Intelligence Committee was, uh, community was getting out of control, that it was turning internally, as we've now seen it do in spades. And so as a result, they had these Church Committee hearings. They created the Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Act. And one of those things was to make sure that if somebody really was in America, really was participating in a terrorist event or an espionage event, that they had some channels where they could go through and have a uh, court procedure where they could get a search warrant, but still kind of keep it secret. Well, the problem is secret.